Well, good evening, everyone. Kenny here. Uh, quick video about we're going to go over three things. Number one, Mr. Pandaria. I'll give you a little update on Envy's website. Uh, the Avengers Blu ray and concentration camps in the U.S. It's happened in our history, but not a whole lot of people know about it. So, let's start on a good note. How about Miss Pandaria? I am loving it, like I said earlier. Uh, I'm not going to talk about the pets this time. I'm actually going to talk about the uh, content. I am currently halfway to 88. I don't think I'm going to make it in time to be able to do uh, Brewfest, which is a total letdown to me. Because uh, I love Brewfest. I love dwarves, but I also love killing dwarves. It's kind of a double-edged sword. Uh, but it's it's been great. It really has. Uh, I've fully explored Kunlai Summit. I've fully explored the Veil of Eternal Blossoms. Uh, I have fully explored Jade Forest. Got those achievements down. So uh, they're a work in progress. Uh, I am currently working up my tailoring, which is great. I'm working rep with Golden Lotus. By the way, uh, that touches on Envy's subject. Uh, she's recently updated her website, and she's working on some more guides right now. But she has the Klaxi up, as well as a Golden Lotus guide. Uh, now, the Klaxi is a pretty interesting race, so I would check that out. The Golden Lotus uh, has some great recipes. So, uh, the Reputation Guide, you might find it useful because Blizzard has removed, uh, for the most part, tabard, rep tabards. So, you won't be able to use those anymore. It's going old school, folks. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how I feel about it. I got used to tabards and they kind of spoil you. So, but I like the touch the Blizzard's doing with going old school. So we'll see how it ends up. Uh, by the way, if you don't know Envy's website, it's www.envytheinsane.com. Uh, does some great work. Again, great work. I try to mention her whenever I can because she's putting a line into the website and apparently it's booming. So a big congratulations to her. It's well earned. So uh, yeah, content overall, it's been insane. Uh, again, beautiful everywhere. Beautiful artwork, the way they've done the races and everything. Uh, the people that left are missing out. And uh, I really do hope they come back and give it another shot. Uh, I'm pretty sure Blizzard will offer a 10 day trial at some point, so it's a good excuse to get it in there. Okay, one thing I did want to note before we move on to another subject is uh, if. I don't know if anybody's ever had a Horde character. I have. But uh, if you're one of the players that has a Horde alt, and uh, you have the uh, Scorpion Guild Mount. There actually is another way to get one, and it's with the uh, with the Klaxi. Uh, it's a Scorpion Mount, and it's very cool looking. Uh, so again, check out Envy's guide so you can get your rep up there because uh, it's it's pretty awesome. Next thing on the list, Avengers Blu-ray. Oh my God! Oof, I'm waiting for this release. The next one I'm looking forward to is Dark Knight Rises. Gonna be awesome. So uh, the reason. I'm bringing it up. It's because obviously the movie was a huge hit, uh, and Joss Whedon did an awesome job on it. I'm a Whedon fanboy, if you didn't know. Uh, and today, the girlfriend and I were out getting some groceries, and she picked it up for me. Babe, I love you. I totally love you. Uh, so here it is. I got the combo pack. Very cool. Uh, the combo pack is very cool because obviously it doesn't include the film. But uh, it's also got some other things. An original short film called Item 47, which I have yet to check out, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be pretty good. Uh, Marvel's first ever gag reel, uh, which is only available on the Blu-ray. It's not on the DVD. The girlfriend and I were hoping it was on the DVD because that's what we watched earlier. Uh, but it wasn't on there. The DVD does include a little featurette about the making of it and the casting, you know, how they were picking people and different things. So uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, it, the Blu-ray does also include the making of as well. And uh, the Blu-ray also has the Live to Rise music video. Uh, the song that Soundgarden did for the soundtrack. Uh, it's very cool. Anybody who's not a fan of Soundgarden, you are totally missing out. They've been around for a long time, and they're just a freaking awesome band. So I'd be sure to check it out. And it's a great buy, obviously. Oh, man. I can't wait to watch it again. Okay, so next topic. A uh, little depressing, but it's something that gets you thinking. Uh, here's the deal. Back when Pearl Harbor was attacked, the U.S. went into lockdown on uh, Japanese immigrants. Uh, 
kind of Asian immigrants in the mix as well. Uh, they took a lot of families out of their homes, out of their businesses, and put them uh, in what was called internment camps. Uh, kept them there for months on end until everything was settled and they were let go, all this and that. Uh, I'm a big fan of Mike Shinoda. If you don't know who he is, he's actually a part of Lincoln Park. Uh, you can look him up. But his family was actually involved in that. And he wrote a song about it on his Fort Minor album. Uh, it's very cool. I would, again, check that out. A uh, very good artist. But uh, what it is, some of those were actually just temporary internment camps. But there's actually still some left over. Now here's the deal. I bring this up because uh, it's happened before and it seems to be happening again. Now, they're not in use, but the U.S. does have, or have over 800 prison camps. Uh, and they're all fully operational and ready to receive prisoners or people being held for whatever reason. Now, the NDAA, which is scary because... It was an act that allows the government to pretty much take anybody without any questions and hold them for an undetermined amount of time for anything in the U.S. without any questions, without trial, without rights, anything. And it's a very, very scary act. I'll never understand why the government put it out there. I understand that we get attacked by terrorists, but it's still America. It's still a country of the people. But it's being run by the government, which is, again, I'm why I voted for Gary Johnson. And I hate to go into a rant about this, but it's something very fired up at me whenever it starts getting talked about. Anyway, uh, back to the camps. Uh, they're all staffed and even surrounded by full-time guards, but they're all empty. Uh, so they, they're operated by FEMA, the Federal Emergency Management Agency. Should martial law ever need to be implanted, implemented into the United States? Uh, martial law basically saying something that the uh, president has to sign on and uh, one other person in the, in the government. But uh, basically saying that martial law, anybody of a certain descent or Americans, all Americans uh, could be taken into internment camps, questioned, left in there for a certain amount of time, all this and that. Now, there's a lot of conspiracy theories out there that say that they'll take Americans in, mind train them with a PSYOPs unit, and just, you know, kind of kind of put them in a Stockholm Syndrome. Like, you know, people that like to be punished and they think it's right. They, you know, they'll listen to their master and all this stuff. Now, that touches on conspiracy theories. Uh, I don't want to go that far. But I bring this up because it's still kind of scary, you know. You look at the way our country is kind of going right now, especially with the NDAA Act and trying to control the Internet, trying to do all this and that. And... It, it makes you think, of what, what, what have you? Know, what's going on with us? Now, it's not to say there hasn't been scary stuff in our past, but really, I mean, you know, the fact that these camps are active in our U.S. is just scary. Very, very scary. Uh, so, you know, that's my take on it. I, again, they're not uh, being used, but they're still in full operation and fully staffed. And for what? is what I ask. Uh, now, I'll be honest, I haven't dug too deep into this because I'm a little scared to what I might find, but if anybody maybe has any answer about any possibilities, uh, you know, you look at movies like Red Dawn, which is being remade, and I'm a little skeptical about it. It, it looks like a good remake. It's got some great action shots from what I've seen in the trailer, but the old Swayze film was terrific and just had a lot of depth in it. It was just crazy good. Check it out if you've never seen it. It's actually on Netflix, at least it was a couple weeks ago. Um, but, you know, you look at scenarios like Red Dawn with us being invaded and how us Americans were taken captive by the Cubans that was, uh, they were working with a, another country. But Americans were taken captive, trained, you know, they had this film playing all night and all day saying how America was wrong. America is evil, all this and that, yada, yada, yada. And uh, obviously the kids, were, the kids rebelled and fought back and uh, hit up in the mountains and all this. It's a great film, but it brings up a scary topic of if that was to happen to the U.S. Now, when you think about a foreign body coming in and doing that, it's one thing. But when the actual American government starts doing it, that's the scary part. And so, you know, we'll have to see what happens with this. Uh... I know I, I'm one of the naive people that believe there's good in everything. 
And I just sincerely hope that the U.S. has a good reason for doing this because it is pretty scary. So anyway, I'll leave you with that. Uh, I'm pretty tired. It's been a long day. But it's been great topics. Again, I'll mention Envy's website, EnvyTheInsane.com. She's doing great work with it. Check it out. Uh, if you're in Pandaria and uh, you happen to be on the Ravencrest realm, the, my guild just recently hit 25. We've now got our mount. We've now got our uh, mass res. So it's a pretty awesome time. A very casual, very laid-back guild. Um, so you can check us out. It's Deviance, D-E-V-I-A-N-C-E. -E. So again, we're on Ravencrest. I hope everybody has a good day, and I will talk to you soon.